So one of the core skills which you need for Module 5 of the HSC Biology Syllabus is having the tools to express how heredity is passed from generation to generation. We do this using pedigrees and Punnett squares. So firstly, pedigrees. I'm going to go through the essentials of how you construct them. So we have a look. Firstly, we have a key. Females are always expressed using circles and males are expressed using squares. If two individuals have bred, we draw a line between them and any children that they might have come down using a perpendicular line and this expresses two generations. Any affected individuals, so individuals who carry the phenotypic trait we're looking for, will be coloured in. So for example here, the father has been affected by this trait and so has his daughter. I find it really easy to put little legends beside my generations to make sure that when I'm answering a problem question, I can always really easily identify which individual I'm talking about. Next, we're going to talk about Punnett squares. So Punnett squares allow us to express not only the phenotypic passing of traits, but actually talk about the genotypes of individuals, so the actual alleles that they carry in their genome. So firstly, we're going to go through how to fill one in. Firstly, we might have a father. Let's talk about pea plants, for example, following what Mendel's experiments were. So the father might be heterozygous. He has one allele for purple and one allele for white. The mother, on the other hand, is homozygous recessive. So she has two alleles for white. We can then put these into our Punnett square paternal alleles on top and maternal alleles on the side. And then all you have to do is fill in the blanks. It's really straightforward. You take one allele from each parent and this will tell you what the allele pairing is for each of the children. From this, we're going to be establishing different ratios or percentages of the offspring genotype and phenotype. So let's start with the genotype. Half of the children of the possible four different combinations, 50% of those are going to have this big P, little p genotype. The other 50% will be little p, little p. So recessive, and they will only have that genotype. If we can then translate these into the phenotypes, 50% will be purple because they have this dominant big P allele. 50% will also be white because they carry two recessive genes for the white trait. So we can see from this how we can use these different tools to trace the passing of genetic traits from generation to generation. It's important to remember in any problem question that asks you about how genotypes and phenotypes are passed to try and include these tools, pedigrees and Punnett squares in your answers. Thanks for listening, guys.